Welcome back. It's 937. This week's Behind the Bricks episode explores the lakes and the ponds inside Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We have Zach Coral here. He is the social media specialist at IMS. Let's talk about the lakes. Yeah, let's talk about the lakes. Well, the big lake. The big lake, yeah. The big lake uh, has been there since the early 90s. Um, you know, a lot of people think uh, everything at IMS has just been there forever because a, a lot of it has and really the track hasn't changed but mm -hmm. um, you know in the early 90s we decided to redesign our golf course and the legendary Pete Dye uh, redesigned it and he uh, the, the track and the whole property was flat I mean that was the goal back in the early 1900s okay. was to have a flat piece of land uh, for the racetrack and then when Pete Dye came in he was designing a golf course he was like hey you know you need to have some elevation and so mm -hmm. he dug up a huge portion of the infield um, so that he could per put dirt in other areas and they, were, they had this big uh, empty piece of land and they said well we dug it up we might as well fill it up with a lake and then um, wow. we used pieces of our racetrack to build it up. Wow. Yeah. That is so cool and I see that hole 7 the environment around it was created so it can feel tall and canyon like now at this point? Yeah so Pete Dye really he wanted to build something really tall and something that felt uh, you know very very different and very cool and just given the, the circumstances he couldn't really do that so he dug out about five feet below the surface all around it okay. um, to make it feel really tall and then the the body of water that's right there is actually just groundwater he dug so low that groundwater just starts coming up so we have to continuously pump that over to the main oh, lake wow because if not, that whole area would just flood. And if that pump fails, that whole canyon right there turns to water. Oh, goodness. Listen, lakes at racetracks are really rare, right? Especially yeah. ones so close to the action. Yeah, it's not something that, you know, you know, when you come to a racetrack, you know, that cars and water obviously don't mix very well. But, you know, we have such <laughs> a large property and we have so much going on um, that we have the ability to have, uh, you know, unique aspects of our racetrack like that. And, and so close to the racing surface. I mean, if you're watching our road course, um, and you just look even just behind the track, the, the lake is right there. In my research, I see that Brickyard Crossing has won awards as one of the best public courses in America. Yeah, you know, it's a truly unique uh, golf course. I mean, I, I, you can't go anywhere else in the world and experience something like that. I mean, especially during May. Um, it's open every day except race day, so you can go out there and you can golf and there are race cars flying by you, race cars racing around you. That's not something that you're ever going to get. And so I think part of the allure of playing Brickyard Crossing is that experience. You know, it's a very, it's a beautiful course and it's really, really nice, but having that environment around you while you're playing golf, you're not going to oh get that gosh. anywhere else. Absolutely. Well, IMS President Doug Bowles explains part of the history. Just take a listen. Well, when Carl Fisher bought the Speedway in 1909, he wanted flat land, and this place was flat. But when Pete Dye came to design the new golf course, he did it in the early 90s, he needed elevation. Well, in order for us to get that, we had to excavate an awful lot of dirt from here. It left this lake, but it made our 18-hole golf course amazing with some cool elevation change. It's very, very cool. And so when can folks go ahead and check it out? So um, April 14th is when the course opens to the public. Um, but the really cool and really exciting thing is you can call Brickyard Crossing now okay. and start reserving your tee times for May for those coveted spots when cars are on track and you want to experience, you know, uh, playing golf while Indy yes. cars are racing past you 240 Very miles per hour. Cool. Uh, that opportunity is available now so you can uh, go on BrickyardCrossing.com and you can uh, get that tee time scheduled so that you have one of the best ex golfing experiences around. All right, Zach. Well, thank you so much. That is incredible and thank you for the heads up. Yeah, of course.